Hello friends, welcome back to Tech with Viresh. In another edition on Spark interview questions, today we have brought in a very interesting scenario based question which is how you can identify a user session for the different users based on their clickstream uh, analytical data collected from a different website or application. So we'll try to understand what is the clickstream analytics and uh, for this particular problem there is a certain way in which a time series kind of data is collected uh, based on how a particular user which is logged on to a particular website or application is doing different clicks and taking different actions all that is captured uh, through maybe some sort of uh, you know clickstream analytical tool like Google AdSense or uh, Yahoo WebSense or some kind of other tools available uh, to kind of collect that data to analyze the user behavior. So the question that we have for today is given a time series data uh, which is a click stream of user activity ask is how to find out the relevant user session for each click event that has been given to us so these uh, so data is given in such a form where we have the click time uh, and the user ID a particular user which is logged on to that website or an application and each time he's making some sort of action or clicks uh, a timestamp is collected and we want to associate all these clicks to a uh, relevant user sessions and uh, the definition of user session is um, a session expires after any inactivity of 30 minutes um, you can also relate it with any application you uh, you kind of log into so that if you will not do any sort of you know activity for a certain uh, amount of time it will get your, your, your login will get time out and you may need to log in again and the second rule of uh, this session or second definition for this user session is it will only remain active for total maximum duration of two hours if in case user is actively using uh, that application but it goes beyond two hours user would be forcibly logged out a new session or may not be logged out but a new session would be registered so these are two definition of this session and we'll have to associate all these uh, clicks events that we have received to the relevant user sessions so uh, let's give uh, two minutes to try to understand this problem from a functional aspect and this this uh, this click, click stream analytics is a very common scenario uh, where there are a lot of proprietary tools are in the market and the idea is that you know uh, uh, any sort of product you talk about and when I say product I'm uh, kind of specifically talking about websites and different you know user interactive applications uh, there would always be concept of something called as user session uh, you may be uh, logging into that website using your credentials or some other ways and uh, <coughs> most of these websites are kind of you know uh, track a particular user to uh, to kind of collect what kind of actions he is taking you know what is the first activity he is done when he is logged in you know what is the order of the actions he is taking on some particular uh, website or applications uh, and also want to analyze what is the average you know um, uh, is a time spent by that particular user on that app or website it can also try to analyze you know which are the most usable device by by different user to kind of log into that application and based on all these data collected and the analytics performed on top of that uh, companies will try to uh, create a user persona they will try to determine the user behavior right and once you have the understanding of the user behavior a lot of actions can be taken uh, like uh, you want to promote uh, to do the promotion of that web that particular product you know which segment of user is like <coughs> the high index user where I can promote or campaign this particular product similarly based on the user uh, persona you can take a lot of action to improve upon that particular product you want to add additional feature you want to remove some feature or you want to uh, improve that entire uh, you know user experience and stuff like that so that is the functional aspect by there are a lot of products which collect this cre you know, click stream data and if we try to look out the definition for user session in a very simple term a user session is is a period of uninterrupted activity on a particular website or an application till the time user is continuously working upon a, a, session, a session is alive for instance if, if somebody logs on to a Facebook and tries to kick around on timelines 
look some pictures uh, post some pictures and do all that stuff on Facebook and then he just closed the, closes the Facebook or log out that will become one session whatever would be the time spent you know uh, for that particular session but that will be a one session now let's try to look at uh, this particular problem this again uh, we'll try to see how we can code this particular problem so these are the definition in the question so we have prepared the data in in a similar format how they have asked so we have this uh, timestamp and the user ID and we have created a data frame out of it this is the data frame simple two columns click time and the user ID now we want to associate we want to find out the user sessions for all these clicks so the first thing which we are doing is we have created a window spec where we are partitioning this entire data by user ID and ordering the data based on click time because clicks will always be in a time sequence right you can a user can only make uh, clicks in certain time series you know there is an order of uh, the the order of clicks is very much relevant so we have ordered it with uh, click time and then what we have done is we've added uh, another column So in the next line, what we are trying to find out, we added an additional column and we are trying to find out the lag value for this click time with a difference of 1. So that exactly previous row timestamp or click time is what we are trying to find out over this window spec. That means the entire data would be partitioned by user ID, right? And within that group for one user ID, all the clicks that we have, the click time that we have, we'll try to find out their lag values lag value means like for this particular record for this particular record the lag value would is null because there is no previous record for it for this particular value the the lag value is this this is the lag value so if you see here in the width column that we have added this is the lag value for this record similarly for this record that this one the previous uh, click time becomes the lag value if you see here like this uh, similarly we have calculated all the lag values and this is how data is displayed now what we're gonna do next is we'll try to find out the time difference between the actual click time and the lag value so that to find out what is the time difference between the two so if you see this line of code what we're doing we are trying to find out TS diff timestamp difference we have converted this into Unix timestamp and from the click time we did a minus of the lag value and because this unit timestamp will give us the time this time into the seconds so we have divided it by 30 because the session definition says that should be uh, within 30 minutes so if I run this and if I display the F2 what we will see now is we will have another column as DS diff and if you say it will give me the time difference between the two values the actual click time and the lag value that means what is the difference between two subsequent clicks if the user has made a click C1 then after that he has made a click C2 what is the difference of time between two clicks that is what we are calculating when doing the minus between the click time and the lag value so if you see here the difference between the two clicks the first and the second click for this user U1 is 70 minutes right now we can put on our session definition which says if it goes beyond 30 minutes that does become that would become a new session correct so let's go to the line number seven now in the df3 what we are doing we are simply uh, because we have to do the mathematical calculation we are simply removing the null null means that uh, it was the first click for that particular user right so it will always be a new session if we look at it from the functional aspect we just added a when statement to convert it into zero so if I try to print df3 right so this ts where we have where we have null we have null for two uh, cases for because we have two users and the first click for those of for for both the users would have null ts div because they had null lag values so if we simply create it uh, convert it into that null into zero then what we have done we're trying to find out the new session whether that's a new session or not so what we have checked if that TS difference timestamp difference is greater than 30 it's in all in minutes then we'll say one we'll say it one means true 
so it will say yes it's a new session otherwise if it's less than 30 minutes it will continue with the old session so one means true for new session zero means false no new session right if I try to pin tf4 let's see how it looks now and if you see we would have another column here which says session new and it very clearly says though for the first one it is saying uh, it's zero it's not new session but as as, uh, as the lag value is now and the TSTF is zero that means it's a first click for that user well, obviously a new session and we'll see how we'll handle it but here it says as it goes beyond 30 minutes right it is a new session this one is 50 minutes that has to be new session true it is 30 minutes so that's a that's not a new session we've not added the equal to condition right we just checked greater than 30 if it is greater than 30 then it's new session so it's 30 that means it's an old session zero false for new session similarly uh, all it is calculated for all the records now to assign the session numbers what we have done is we have concatenated the user IDs uh, with a literal s and we are trying to find out the running sum running sum based on the on the session new column which is giving me the pointers like 0 and 1 0 for existing session and 1 for new session and if we we'll try to calculate the running sum it will give me the session numbers you know or unique session numbers for all these clicks right so what will happen say if I do a running sum for this particular record it will be S0 and the idea to concatenate user ID is that you know in, in a distributed system it may be working on different partitions right and different partitions may have uh, the data distributed for different users in such a way that you know you may have uh, the same session numbers got repeated as it will work upon different partitions so it's a good idea to add the user ID uh, with that session uh, numbers or session names you are generating so that it will always make it unique right to just handle that distributed nature how this activity will, will be performed on different partitions correct so here if I try to uh, display this now we added the user session with the user ID dash dash s just a little to represent session and the running sum of the session new column zero and ones we see let's see what we get as the answer so this gives me the session name this is how this is what we will have to associate each click with the corresponding session now let's try to understand it so it says s0 it's a new session altogether zero, uh, as session number s0 then it was 70 minutes so it has to be a new session it is s1 new session it's 50 minutes it has to be a new session good it was 30 minutes so it has to be existing session so both are same for this user s2 s2 again it was 70 minutes so it has to be s3 50 is right this was 30 this was 30 so if you see the how we have associated the user or session names will all the clicks right so guys uh, that's what we have in this particular video uh, to find the click stream analytics for rule number one will take up the rule number two in in the part in the second part of the video so guys that's it in this particular video have a good day ahead keep watching and keep learning bye bye